What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an easy Fortnite Twitter header and a YouTube banner without Photoshop. Also like and subscribe if you guys want more content like this and also shout out to all the people who have notifications on for the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. And with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into today's video. All right, so first of all, this video is a sequel to another one of my videos previously on the channel. That video will be linked in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm not gonna be going through everything again. I will cover, you know, how to you know create the banner and everything like that. But the only thing I'm not gonna be covering is how to do the text. So you guys can just click that video. It will be on the end screen. Or again, as I mentioned, it will be linked in the description. But I will go through everything if you guys are new to the channel and you guys aren't familiar with some of the tutorials. I will show you guys, you know, some of the basics of how to get your banner set up for Twitter and for YouTube very easily. First, as always, you guys need to download all of the assets that I've created for you guys here. So for that, all you guys need to do is head down to the description of this video, click on the Google Drive link at the very top. And then if you guys are on desktop, you can go ahead and just click the download all button on the top right of the screen. And then you're going to see on the bottom left, your little zip folder pop up. And all you have to do is click on that folder and then it's going to pop up that zip folder that you just clicked on. And then all you need to do is hit extract all and then it's going to pop up the destination. All I do is I hit browse and then I go ahead and just click on my desktop so that it does download it all to my desktop in a nice little folder. If you guys find that a little bit confusing, you can just right click on each separate image in the Google Drive and then just click download and then kind of just download it to your computer that way. I just recommend doing it the previous way because having it on your desktop is super handy because you kind of access it very easily in my opinion and it's easy to find. So as you guys can see, I have the folder downloaded right here. I'm going to briefly go over some of this stuff so you guys kind of are familiar with what you downloaded um, i'm gonna go ahead and double click on it but i have a couple stuff in here i have a free pfp too so yeah you guys can you know download this and use this however you want um i really don't care and then i do have you know some templates here so i only had a blue one in the previous video um this time around you guys have been asking for more so i thought i would give you a bunch of colors here so the original one that you guys see in the thumbnail and the one that i'm kind of going to be using today is just this orange one so i made an orange header template this one's a little bit shorter and taller this is going to be for Twitter and then I also have a YouTube one It's going to be a lot wider here and I'll show you guys kind of how to do that as well Then also I kind of forgot to add this in here you guys do need the YouTube template So I'm going to go ahead and add that in here quick All right So now we do have the YouTube banner template in here as well that you guys need to download We have the font here as well And then we also just have the orange render that I used in this video here as well So now that we have all that downloaded We're going to go ahead and just hop into pixlr here now You guys can just type in pixlr on the website here or I will have it linked in the description if you you guys you know want an easier way to click it but we're just gonna click on the top option here i always use pixlr e but i guess you guys could use pixlr fx if you really really want to um but all we're gonna do here is we're gonna start just with our youtube banner here just make it super super simple i'm gonna click open image and i'm gonna go ahead and find that folder that i downloaded on my desktop here looks like it's right here fortnite banner plus assets and then i'm gonna go ahead and just click on the youtube banner template um you only really need this like separate template whenever you do the youtube banner so we're gonna go ahead and double click that we're always going to make sure it's just on full here and we're going to click apply and then all we have to do it's super simple is we're going to go to layer we're going to go to add image as layer and you know i can't even click it but uh we're going to go to layer add image as layer and i'm going to go ahead and click on the orange youtube banner template and then it should automatically well looks like it didn't quite automatically fill it in so i'm just going to size it down and i'm going to kind of get it on the corner here i'm going to size it down just to make sure it fits all of this space here you know of that gray area um, we're gonna make it a bit smaller and it looks like that just covers all of that area you know you want all of that long area um, covered for it um, this top gray area and this bottom gray area really doesn't matter um, but once we have it in here I want to make sure it's really covering all of that area I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the layer here and it's gonna pop up this little window I'm gonna click lock just so we don't end up moving it around at all so now it's very simple we're just gonna go ahead and add the render here now we're gonna go ahead and hit layer we're gonna hit add image as layer and it's gonna be the same process for any other render that you guys want to add um, you know for some of the other colors here and we're gonna go ahead and double click on the render it's gonna be a little bit big so we're gonna have to go to the top left or top right little dot here we're gonna have to drag this down and I normally kind of put it on this left side here but again you guys can put it on the right side if you guys really want to or wherever you want um, again I do kind of just suggest making sure you have most of it um, within this desktop minimum and mobile section just so it shows up on a phone if you guys you know happen to have someone watching it and they are watching it on a phone which a lot of people do these days um, so we're just gonna make sure it's kind of 
all in there. I'm gonna use Alt. I'm gonna hold Alt and scroll here to kind of zoom in and just make sure it is in there, which it looks like it is. We're gonna kind of leave it how it is because it does look good here. Now we're pretty much actually already done unless you guys wanna add some extra stuff. But all you need to do left here for your YouTube banner because you really don't need anything in this top gray space. This is just for TV viewers, which not a whole ton of people watch YouTube on TV. And even if they do, um, it's not gonna show your banner really on the TV either. Um, but all we need to do left here is add the text. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm not gonna go over the text again. I've gone over it so many times. So if you guys do wanna add, you know, the custom text that you see in the thumbnail of this video, um, make sure to click the link. It will show up on a card right here or it'll be on the end screen. Watch that video and then it is literally the same exact banner, just a different color. You guys can follow the same steps to add the text. Um, there will also be timestamps in the description. So if you scroll down to the timestamps, there will be a text option and it lets you skip right to the time in the video where I do the text tutorial. So you guys don't have to watch the entire thing or anything like that. Just watch the text tutorial and then you guys can be done. So once you're all done with that, all you gotta do is go to file and you gotta go to export. Um, we can do quick export as PNG or we can hit save. Um, it doesn't really matter. I think save might be a bit higher quality. Um, you can go to PNG here and I'm just gonna hit save as. I'm gonna hit desktop here. Now I'm just gonna go to YouTube banner, ice kicks. You guys can obviously name it whatever you want here. I'm gonna go to save. And then as you can see, it does pop up on my desktop in a second here and it is perfect. So now let's briefly go back to Pixlr here. Um, briefly just go over how to do it for your Twitter header. We're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to close because we don't need that anymore. We're gonna go to open image and for Twitter headers, all you need to do, it's really easy. It just double click on the Twitter header template, um, the header template here, ice kicks. I'm gonna double click it and then all you gotta do is do the same thing you did before, layer, add image as layer and then double click that render and we're going to size it down a bit as always, just so it fits. We're gonna put it in that left side of the screen here. This is literally all we need to do for this. Um, again, guys can go back, add the text if you guys want, then just do the same process, file, um, save, um, PNG, save as, desktop, save. And then as you guys can see, it pops up very easily here. Double click it, looks really, really good, really high quality. And then also, you know, we do have the other colors. So if you guys end up, you know, finding a green render that you like or a purple render or just anything like that, um, you guys can use some of the separate colors here. I thought I'd at least give them to you so you guys have them in the future so you can, you know, maybe have a different style than someone else on the channel. But yeah, I think that about covers everything in this video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this where I provide more templates, extra PFPs, a lot of extra free stuff like this, make sure to go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button down below and just leaving a comment on the channel those kind of things really let me know that this is the kind of videos that you guys want to see i appreciate you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next video peace